Thank you, sir. Your help has been immensely appreciated. If I can be of any assistance whatsoever, do not hesitate to call upon me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a certain debt to collect from Professor Perry and his circus crew. Good day to you. What an unpleasant surprise. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Jack. Don't bet on making it out again. Over the lips and past the gums. Look out, Jack. Here I come. We won the war, Red Comet. He's on the water tower! <laughs> Time for a little pick-me-up, I think. My boys will keep you busy.
excitement has made me quite thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> I've almost run dry. Okay, Swift, I've had enough of you now. Sorry, old man. Oh, that was incredible. You saved my life. All in a day's work. I only wish it were more financially gratifying. Well, shoot, mister. If getting yourself a little money's all you're worried about, then I know where someone with your talent could pick up $5,000 in gold without even trying. Pray do tell, young lady, and I would be forever in your debt. There's a sharpshooter competition in Brimstone. Winner takes all. Shouldn't be a problem for such a fine marksman like yourself. Well, madam.
Brush off the press. Widow's pad saved by Limey. <laughs> Professor Perry perishes at the hands of a traveling showman. Greetings, friend, and what can I do for you today? I hope you brought some references if you're looking for a loan. If you can't find what you're looking for in Ralph Clover's general store, they probably haven't invented it yet. Forty two long, right? I never forget a shirt size. What can I do for you? Come on in, mister. Day to you, sir. I don't suppose you know what's going on up at Rogue Valley, would you? Fresh off the press, widow's pad saved by Limey. I need to get through that canyon to see my sister who's ailing something terrible over at Clementine Falls. Step aside, hombre. Billy Cougar's walking by. If you want to live long enough to see tomorrow, just be on your way, mister. Fresh off the press, Widow's Patch safe. You hear about the trouble in Widow's Patch last night? Apparently, this English fella had a run-in with Perry and his freaks. Sounds like things got real nasty there. Two of them got to fighting and damn near burned the place to the ground. Professor Perry perishes at the hand. You hear about the trouble in Widow's Pat? You look like a man with a thirst. You must have stopped by the saloon by now and seen them pretty girls that Hans Kenyon keeps around. Looking mighty thirsty there, stranger. What can I get you? Why, ain't you a handsome one? 
Why, if I weren't waiting for young Daniel, I'd chase you upstairs and show you a gun trick or two. But Sam made me promise to be here when his brother showed. I'm his welcome home present. Sam would be here himself, but he hit his head last night and took a bit of a turn for the worse. Poor Sam. If he didn't use his head like a third fist, he'd be running this place instead of Hans over there. Why, ain't you a handsome one? There's this guy I met at the train station who told me that for $5,000 he would sell me a half share in his business. I don't remember just exactly what it was he did. 